Hey guys, just wanted to uh, do the video for the tailgate and auto and lock for the Tundra. Um, I went to Home Depot and got some 16.3 all-weather uh, insulated cable. Um, I mean, it was only 63 cents, 16 gauge, so um, I got my TR7 pack. I got my relay inline fuse that I had laying around. I'll wrap that up. These um, actuators, I had two of them, but I ended up buying, uh, I found a guy on eBay selling them uh, for a dollar seventy four shipped. I'll post the link up online for you guys so you guys can hit them up. Uh, got some self tapping screws. Uh, one of the guys in the forum said this T bracket from Simpson Tie would work good on the auto lock. So I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it works. If not, I'll just bend my own. I got some uh, connectors, some butt connectors, and some heat shrinks from Harbor Freight. So. Um, what's it called? Uh, so this is what I'm going to do to get started. I'm going to wire it up, pre-wire it, and then uh, go ahead in the truck. Hey guys, uh, this is the lock and unlock actuator for my tailgate. Uh, I used a um, bracket from Home Depot at the decking department. Um, works out pretty good. Here's my actuator. I grounded it here because uh, WT from from Tender Talk he he grounded it and I, I couldn't get it to work. But uh, the tailgate's not on the truck, so I'll see if it makes it any better. Um, here's the rod bent. And here's the other side. Actuator, green wire is grounded because uh, the blue wire will pulse and make it unlock. Here's the wires. I routed it through where my tailgate camera is. Uh, like I said to you guys, I used, um, went to Home Depot and bought a three wire. And I actually went and um, a buddy of mine's got a, a junkyard that had harnesses. So I just wired up a, a what's it called, a three pin plug. Uh, two for the lock and unlock actuator and one wire for the uh, tailgate unlock once again because one wire is grounded so these two got wired together and here's the lock and unlock actuator so I'll put the tailgate on and see how it goes hey guys um, okay so I got it back on my truck wired up I didn't even put the the bracket pieces which went from it for the camera. I tied it in. I ended up having a Dremel and clean the plastic out because this tube's a lot bigger with the extra wire and stuff, insulated wire that I use. Um, the ground, green wire that I grounded here, uh, it didn't work. Uh, not sure why. Uh, and I went on the forum but no one got back to me so I said screw it. I end up running a fourth wire uh, to into the cab and I actually grounded it out by the bed but um, it works. Tailgate lock works. Uh, this this lock that I bought on eBay for $1.74 uh, the shaft might be short so I ended up moving this forward. Um, yeah, let me see if I can when you lock it, this piece is supposed to go all the way back, okay, and that activates it, but because the shaft is so short, um, you have to adjust it so it can still work. So when it's all the way open, see the tailgate still works, but this black piece has to be all the way back. Black piece has to be all the way back. Now when it locks, okay, it it doesn't have to be touching the back, which which it normally does, but it actually still bypasses it. See that? So, um, it still works uh, with this shorter, because I know some guys are saying they need a one inch throw, um, but this is the setup. Did the same thing, I just ran the wires through, went back, and 
did a couple butt connectors if I ever have to replace it and remove it. The two wires for the lock and unlock. And um, I ran out of my cab. Let me see if I can show you a picture of it. Uh, where is it, dude? I didn't show you guys. So I ran it along this harness, which is all the way from the back to the mid cab. Uh, this actually dumps it right by the front seat. The front seat of right about here. Somewhere around here in the back in front of the rear seat and uh, here it is the wire ran through and uh, I got it sitting right here I'm gonna what's it called wire it up with the relay and, and the TR7 um, with these wires I just gotta get out the voltmeter and test these wires and make sure I'm t tapping into the right wire before I start messing around with it I don't want to screw this up so I will uh, get it, get back to you guys when I wire it up. All right, guys. All right, guys. Um, here's my TR7. I got my uh, relay up here, inline fuse. I have a 12 volt constant. Uh, here is the uh, for the lock and unlock actuator, and then the pulse uh, for um, the TR7 to trigger the tailgate drop. So I just programmed it, um, and uh, what's it called? Here it goes. One, two, three. Boom. There you have it, guys. Tailgate lock feature. Cool.